everyone, welcome back to my channel Coloring with Vicky. Today I will show you and I will continue with the second part of my purple sky coloring tutorial. Um, on the first part I showed you how to make um, an intense sky background similar to this one which I made in Hannah Carson's Summer Nights. I used um, ink pens and Prisma colors and luminance pencils for this background and as you asked me um, to show you how to make it I was thinking it would be great to do this as my first tutorial ever. So um, let's get started. I will have this picture right next to me so I can see it and Hopefully I will remember how I made it. Mm. Okay, so I will just adjust the camera a moment. Okay. I used five colors for this background. will put you closer you can see it better it's this way mm -hmm. nice. so as I said I use five intense colors um, red violet deep rose thistle mauve and dusky purple i will put the description i will i will put the um, color names in the description below okay so first i will try to make the colors a bit stronger using the five intense colors i used and to do that you will need to have really sharp intense pencils so I will sharpen them in a second and after that I plan to make the transitions using the five intense colors and my prisma colors as well Okay, let's get started. So these are the five intense colors I used and I will start with the bottom with red violet. so I can see it better okay so red violet first I will try to spare the hair. So I'm using middle pressure here. Okay. zoom in a little okay so here we are I will try not to move my 
page, which is really difficult for me as I'm a real page mover. And I love to move them the way I would like my strokes to be. It's a great strategy if you are not streaming or making a video all together. So. Here we are. You will hear and see that the paper will have a special texture after using water on it. However, that is good for us as the color can be mm, layered more easily. I will go back with my second color, Deep Rose, to make a transition. So as I said, middle pressure, not heavy. light pressure here as we are approaching the lighter parts you need to use a really light hand you can control your pressure by changing your grip the more um, closer you are to the tip the more harder pressure you can put on it on the paper if it's here you can do it more lightly like a feather okay it's the first part I will do the same on this side using red violet first. You can use heavy pressure at the bottom. And we will make a transition again. It's highly possible that I will go back with the Prisma colors here, the bottom. Maybe um, I was thinking of um, black raspberry and black or black grape. Would be a nice color to do the shading at the bottom. We will see.
Next one is Deep Rose. Using a heavier pressure of the bottom. And as I'm going higher, I'm going lighter with my pressure. Can you hear the texture? <laughs> It's a bit darker here, like a shadow. It's always a good idea to use lighter pressure than going in with heavy pressure, as it's easier to erase or to correct if there is anything needing correction. Really light. Red. quite darker on this side so I will try to go in again I need to sharpen I'm still using the Deep Rose Intense color. So the whole thing is a balancing act, trying to find the right shade and transitions. always too good it, it is always a good idea to take a step back or look at your picture from further away so you can look and um, you can compare the two sides of your background and look and look how you feel about it and if it's need any adjustment it needs any adjustment or change. Oh, I need to let the dog out. That is home. <laughs> there you go. Bye. <laughs> she was sleeping next to me. A little Tecla, my dachshund. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Light layer.
that's fine. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. Okay, and let's see what's the next color we will use. Hmm. You are my Christmas. I will compare the other picture. Compare this pic with the other picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will use lavender PC934 and uh, pink rose PC1018. You need to sharpen your pencil. Let's see what happens. Lavender color is quite pinkish, so I will try to mute it down with my pink rose here at the end. Keep in mind it doesn't have to be perfect. Water background is always messy. It has a special, it gives a special atmosphere, it gives the picture a special atmosphere if you ask me. may not become similar or the same, exactly the same as my Hannah Carson pick, but I will give my best. You will get the method and the technique and that's the most important. And that's the goal of my video here. Okay. Something is starting to happen. Yes. I'm using light layer. As I will go back with my colors again and again till I like the end result. As I said, it's a balancing act. So how are you doing? I hope you are having a lovely day. It's Monday afternoon in Hungary. We had a really nice sunny day with 22 degrees so I can't complain <laughs> okay I will use the lavender at the other side as well
I'm on vacation all week. So that's awesome. Hmm. I can color, go to the gym. Working out a little. I had great fun yesterday on YouTube and on my first live stream. It was really strange. But I enjoyed it very much. You guys are so nice and supporting. It makes my creativity fly. So lavender using a light pressure hmm. And my pencil again. I'm concentrating really hard, that's why I'm not so chatty. I'm a bit nervous as well replicating the picture or making it similar is always a challenge I would say It will end up in the end. <clears throat> Just have to be patient. And it's quite a large background as well. Hmm. Okay, let's see pink rose and mm -hmm. I may have to use deco pink as well. We will try. <laughs> pink rose let's see what happens Yeah, it mute, it mutes it's it's down. It is muting down the color. Which is great. As this part 
of the picture is quite muted as well and I will try to make a transition to lavender and also leave some white parts. Pink rose is a bit of a beigey rose color, which is perfect for muting down my lavender. And make it more pinkish. Here you are, yes. As you can see, Prisma are you can work over the ink tents with Prismas here. Go over the lavender part with pink rose again here, here as well. Just to mute the purple down for the lavender. So this way we will have a purple lavenderish undertone which can shine through or pink and make it more interesting this way, the background. So you can leave some parts out and leave them purplish as a real realistic background doesn't have one color only or a horizon right it's playing in several colors I hope you all had a great weekend, did something funny, colored a little. Mm -hmm. I'm starting to like it, great. I watched the uh, Breaking Bad yesterday, we are at the fifth season. And it's starting to get really dramatic. I don't like the fifth season, however, I like the series and I like to watch it from start to finish. So I will have to watch it anyway. I love the char characters. That's the main reason why I'm 
watching it again and again. One or two times every year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Right. Mm -hmm. Have a bit of cut coffee before going further. So next color is um, deco pink. Okay, PC ten fourteen. I will write all the used colors down in the description below once I'm finished. just a little just at the top so we can mix this part with um, lavender and violet later on I love the pencil work. It's always my favorite part. Light layer. more circles I will have to sharpen again. This paper eats up my prisoners, is eating up my prisoners. Don't forget to turn your pencil every now and then so it may stay sharp more for a longer time Ooh, okay it's too pink yeah, it's really difficult to go in here So I'm still using my deco pink. Mm -hmm. Okay. Really light. Just touching. Slightly touching the paper. Okay. Now I will go back and hmm. I will use
dark purple raspberry and also deep rose dark purple the dahlia purple might be too bright we will see try and see try and see how it goes so dark purple pc931 now we go back go back to the bottom try the dahlia purple as well so I can decide on which is better hmm. yes I may have used this one hmm, I will try it here so this is the dahlia purple and the dark purple if you're not sure you can always try it out first mm -hmm. I'm still not sure raspberry mm -hmm. Okay. So Dahlia purple. still using Dahlia purple here okay and I will go back with our darkest color at the bottom red violet I will sharpen again always sharpen your pencil very important I will swatch and I will see if there is, we can make an even more darker color or do we need to use a darker pencil? What do you think? It's quite hard to tell as it's really shiny. Mm, it's still darker, okay, great. Let's see black raspberry or red violet. Which one is darker? Mm -hmm. Yes, black raspberry is 
slightly darker so I will put some of it on the bottom black raspberry as well see mm -hmm. Raspberry, it is. Yippee. Okay, I will go back with red violet again to make a transition, which is really important. Mm -hmm. To make it darker, mm -hmm. maybe. The next one is um, I have dark purple and deep rose. Let's see which one is more dark. Wow. <gasps> mm. Yes. Deep Rose is a little bit more dark, so I will use that one next. So Deep Rose for the next part. Mm -hmm. Great! I'm starting to like it. Yes, and now Dahlia Purple. Mm -hmm. I think it's more of the Deep Rose, sorry, so Deep Rose again. Mm -hmm. Can you see the color transitions? Starting to work, it's magic. Yes. Okay, and Dahlia Purple, here you come. Deep rose. Okay, Dahlia purple. Yes, and now a little hunch of raspberry. We will see if we need it at all. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. Raspberry. DC ten thirty.
mixing the colors together. And a really light layer here. I will mix this part with my pink rose. Here comes pink rose again. I'm mixing my raspberry with pink rose, right? Yes. Again, raspberry. Dahlia purple again. Raspberry. Pink rose. Mm -hmm. Okay, raspberry. No, what's that raspberry here? Coffee is in the making. Again, um, pink rose here. I will push a little bit harder to blend the colors together. Dahlia purple again. Pink rose. Mm 
over the whole thing where I put my lavender first. I will go over with lavender again. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here a little bit more. Just very light layer. Trying to put more pigment down to make the white spaces go away. over the whole thing, over the whole area here. Again, to mute the purple down. Using the beige color. Raspberry. I will blend the raspberry with the pink rose together. This way we would get a red undertone as well. Hmm, reddish. Take some time we get the color we would like to have. Raspberry. Lavender again. And pink rose. Mm -hmm. 
last baby. to be patient and layer lightly as you can see I can work quite well over ink tens with Frismas. Okay. How do you like it so far? Okay. Some we use some D pros again. Red violet for the bottom, and I will go over it again. Till most of the red, red, sorry, white space is gone. Rose again. I'm following my chart. Red violet at the bottom, and I also use um, black raspberry, which I will get back to in a second. So deep rose, blending colors together. Deep rose. Here you have it black raspberry for the bottom uh oh I got over the line I will use my Faber Castell Perfection Pencil Eraser to erase. Okay. It isn't perfect, but it faded a bit. I will color over it later, so it's not a big deal. Black raspberry, it is right, nice. So back to Dahlia purple. I have to check again. So dark purple, Dahlia. Mm -hmm. So Dahlia purple, no, sorry. Yes, Dahlia. Mm -hmm.
raspberry. Mixing so beautifully together. Yippee! With mixing or raspberry with the pink rose, we got a really special. Hmm, what is this color called? Mm -hmm. The muted raspberry. So pink rose Okay. I was watching at the camera. Hmm. Doing backgrounds and um, coloring skin. Are the, two, are the two things where I don't need um, to listen to something or I need absolute silence so I can concentrate and that's the only time when I enjoy coloring in total silence so that's why i'm not speaking so much but i really enjoy it <laughs> to look like as I want it to look so that's great hmm. Need to blend this part together with the pink rosé or rose So I got my streaming times and I will try to stream two times at two occasions a week on uh, Wednesdays at 6 p.m. at GMT plus two time zone in the GMT plus two time zone it's uh, 6 p.m. and I asked April to put my hours on her schedule and I will be streaming also on Sundays from 3 p.m. also GMT plus 2 time zone so you can convert this time to your own time zone and I hope I will see you there and have a little chat which is great fun it's like coloring with my best friends it is coloring <laughs> with my friends best friends so okay
and on Wednesday I'm planning to finish this picture on live stream. And hopefully on Sunday we can finish her. Lavender. And pink rose, I will have to sharpen it again. What should I talk about while I'm doing this? I talked so much yesterday. I did um, two videos where I, where I um, talked continuously and I also gave my first live stream. So I'm feeling like I'm out of words. <laughs> I was at least in front of the camera for six hours. So I can't tell you anything new about my day. Um, I cleaned the house during the morning. I had one German student, I mean one student coming for a private German lesson, so that was my morning. I was teaching German grammar. As you know, I was um, born in Germany and I speak German on a native level, which is, um, I wouldn't say um, very rare but quite rare in Hungary and there is a great lack of good German teachers here so I can't complain but I have a lot of students and I enjoy working with them Most of them are um, university students and they are really smart and um, eager, clever and motivated to learn and to do the homeworks I give them. I also took my doggy for a walk in the morning. So she could play around, <laughs> chase birds. She loves to chase birds. Hmm. I will stand up to take a look at it. Hmm. Raspberry. It's really hard to get the transition here. <sighs> and you have to use several layers as it's quite a scratchy texture. -y. It won't be perfect. But that's not our goal, right? I want it to look like a background, nothing. 
nothing more. Goes. Using a heavier fresher now, blending the colors as I'm nearly done with this part of the page. Mm. Mm -hmm. I quite rarely use a blender pencil to blend my colors together. However, I might do this with this picture. I will use a Caran d'Ache full blender, which I find really amazing. How do you like it so far? Okay. I will go back again with red violet. Deep rose. <laughs> it's so difficult to know which color is which with the ink pens. So I always have to check, so I'm not using the wrong one. Next was um, Dahlia Purple. I love this color, so bright. Right? Oops, sorry. I'm standing right now. As I can see the background better. As I'm putting down more and more pigment, it's becoming more and more shiny. And I can see it properly. What is happening? So I stand up, stood up. I also cooked in the morning as I neglected my housewife duties during the weekend as I was too um, occupied. With my new channel, I went crazy <laughs> and sat in front of my camera all weekend and asked my dear friend, Color and Chat with Sammy, to help me. So, Raspberry again. And uh, she encouraged me to, to start my channel. And it, I'm so grateful because it's much easier to start a channel when you have someone believing in you as you may not believe in yourself at the beginning. See me, I was really afraid to start my own channel at the beginning. However, my husband bought me a live stream camera and I got my new tripod from, from my friend as a gift so I had no other options I had to jump right into the water and do uh, do some videos okay it's starting to show some form um, I will need to do something with the transition here as I don't like it. 
yet so I will think about it what we could do there mm -hmm. not much mm, maybe more lavender again yes so um, I made some curry chicken with zucchini and tomatoes in the morning Hmm. I will try to push harder. This part? Mm-hmm. That's the clue. I have to push real hard to blend these colors together. And this is one great um, characteristics for um, the prismas you can mix and blend them together really well as you can see I created a new color here by mixing raspberry and um, and my pink rose I like it cool hm. great hmm. I may use yes which color let's see black yes I will go in with black grape here just a little <sighs> to make it stand out even more So thank you for being here with me today. I hope you will enjoy this video. Okay, I'm quite satisfied. It's nearly the same. This part has more red in it than here. That's great. Okay, this part is not finished yet. I may leave it white. I don't know. I like the way the middle looks like. It gives it gives the picture brightness and dimension and I like that. So it may not be the same after all, but that's okay. So we will do the same on the other side as well. I will use the red violet first. So the secret is to go on and on with doing this background and not stop. So it, it has some ugly face in the beginning, but you can get over it and then you have to work on it till you are starting to like what you see and not be afraid of transitions so red violet 
right yes So after cooking and cleaning and teaching, I went to the city and went to the gym. I'm doing training with a personal trainer. I like him very much, but he's very tough. It was hard to keep up with him today, but I gave my best. But he can be really cruel sometimes. <laughs> he has a great sense of humor, so we are laughing a lot throughout the training. <laughs> Mostly at me. <laughs> he laughs when I'm swearing <laughs> during the training. He always tell me, tells me to let it all out. And I'm an obedient guest. And I swear. When I'm suffering, it's a great way to relieve, relieve, relieve stress. Yes, alleviate stress. A little bit of swearing at the right, in the right time and place. It's funny. Anyway, next one will be um, <laughs> Dahlia Purple. So I had an hour of training, weight training. And after that, I have to go to the bank and right after arriving at home, I started doing this video. So here I am, coloring with you. I like to do workout and I love to do exercises. I always have. When the weather turns wetter, I will definitely run or jog. Mm. One moment, sorry, I have to look at what I'm doing here. Our flat is really near the riverside, so I love to jog along the river by listening to some music. It's so refreshing and rewarding and being on the fresh air, admiring the beautiful vista.
and doing some exercise. Next thing we'll, next color is, oh, hello you guys, okay. My monitor went black. Raspberry again. Sharp. You need to sharpen it. You need to sharpen it. Okay, raspberry. Try to blend these two these two colors together. It's quite hard, but not impossible. Mm. After finishing this video, I will watch some videos from other YouTubers, especially new colorists who I haven't watched yet. I'm really interested and excited to explore all your channels as I was really bad following YouTube I'm really extremely far behind I had my PhD um, last exam on Monday so I'm finished with my PhD studies and I was quite occupied in the last months so I will try to catch up with all of you oh, it's starting to have some color nice you just need to be patient What type of videos do you like the most? There are so many out there. There are color and chats. There are color alongs where you can watch coloring step by step. There are speed videos where you can see how beautiful masterpieces are done in a few minutes I myself love watching color and chat while coloring and I also love real-time tutorials It's really frustrating to stop your video all the time while trying to color and do the page the YouTuber is doing, colorist. Okay, so back to Dahlia purple again. And I will blend these two colors together step by step. You don't need to hurry.
put a bit of a pressure here. Again, here. So back to Breaking Bad, I hope to finish the last season tonight while coloring and catching up with my petals in this picture. And after that we will watch Better Call Saul with Jolt and my dog. <laughs> she likes to snuggle and to climb on me and to sleep on my lap. <laughs> She's so sweet. I love when she is snoring. I have been thinking about, um, I have been thinking a lot about why I love Breaking Bad so much or what is it that makes me watch this series again and again and I think one of the main reasons is that I love how the characters change and um, evolve during the series and how their personality changes so psychologically it's really interesting on the other hand it's i would say dramatic exciting but also very funny like the adventures of walter and Jesse are funny. I don't want to say anything to spoil your joy if you haven't seen it. So, yes, that's one of the reasons. The other is, um, I got like the characters very much they are so lovable I don't like the ending it's really sad but what can you expect drug dealing story can't result in a happy end right So as I said, I am really <coughs> curious about the Better Call Saul series. And 
I'm also planning to read during my holiday or vacation. <clears throat> I will bring my ebook here in a second. I will tell you about what I'm reading right now or what I read recently. Um, I listened to the audio book of my lovely wife from Samantha Downing. I will put a link in the description below and I enjoyed it so much. A really controversial story about a wife who decided to become a mass murderer and the relationship, how the relationship of the couple changes and how it affects their lives is really interesting. And I'm quite good at predicting the end of books. However, the end of this book surprised me very much. I won't say anything else about the story because I don't want to ruin your reading. If you decide on reading that book, so I really enjoyed the audiobook of this novel. Mm -hmm. It's starting to look great. Okay, I will go back to the bottom again. I will Hmm, what was it again? Hmm. Black raspberry, yes, black raspberry. Here. I'm also listening to the Anomaly Files, I think that's the name. book <clears throat> sorry go back where is it yes the anomaly by Michael Rutger. I expected more from this book. It is um, sad that it's a horror novel. However, I wasn't really afraid at all. And it's also really highly predictable for me at least. I started reading The Invited by Jennifer McMahon. I like it so far. It's uh, supposed to be a ghost story and I love good ghost stories. So if you know any good ghost stories to read, please, please write to me and write it down in the comments. I'm reading this as well, The Last We Told from, from Camilla Way. That's really interesting and also really exciting. What, um, so that's my current reading list, but I read almost every genre. I'm quite a bookworm this way, although I didn't have much time to read. That's why I listen to audiobooks. So I could color and also read 
read <laughs> both. Oh, I have to drink. I have to drink. So I'm starting to get tired. I will video for another 30 minutes and I will have um, dinner after that and I may come back again trying to finish the background so we used um, what was that yes black raspberry so I will go back with my darkest color red violet again The Winter People by Jennifer McMahon is also a really amazing ghost story which I enjoyed a lot. Deep Rose and it was creepy, really creepy. What else did I read? Mm, the Broken Girls is another great ghost story as well. I don't know why I like them so much, but it's exciting. And you stay up at night being afraid of ghosts, which is um, so funny at the end, but you read anyway. Uh, Lord is protecting me so I can have a scare before going to bed. Next one is Dahlia Purple. <sighs> I love to read ghost stories, especially at time of Halloween, of course. Best, best time to freak yourself out. Whew. Raspberry again. Yoohoo! I'm starting to like it. I love winter stories or um, books where it's winter or um, stories um, playing in the woods. Oh yes, um, I also really like the Final Girls by Riley Sager and um, she will come out with a ghost story in a few months. Block every door i believe that's the title so i'm looking really forward to it she has a really vivid imagination which i always love um, rose pink pink rose trying to blend the raspberry and the pink rose together so that's for that. Hmm. So stories played, playing in the woods, taking place, remote places is always exciting. The woods have something mystical and mythical in themselves. And I also like to color wood or forest, not wood, but in the woods, yes. Forest scenes. It's 
so relaxing. Yoo-hoo! Last pencil is pink, deco pink, just really lightly. One of my all time favorites is Harry Potter, of course. I grew up reading Harry Potter and that's the book that made me read or made me a book fanatic and my other favorite book is Gone with the Wind I absolutely love that book mm. I read it first when I was 16 or 17 years old and I could really relate to her in a sense um, that she was trying to find herself and find her place in the new world after the civil war in America and um, I'm also really interested in all types or all ages of history so reading about how people try to make ends meet after this war it was really interesting and I also like the sequel Scarlet and I watched the movies at least three or four times every year If I need a movie that cheers me up, it's either Harry Potter, Gone with the Wind, or Jurassic Park, or um, Hunger Games. Great. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe I'll look at it again. I will have to extend the raspberry a bit. I hope there will be a new Jurassic Park movie. Yes. Uh, I love them so much. I was really afraid of them when I was a child. Not anymore. They are funny. One of my best friends, um, she has twins and she's like, Jurassic Park isn't scary for the children. Her children are two years old and really sweet and she loves to watch Jurassic Park as well and she watches, she watches it with her children and they really don't care about it. Maybe they are too small to understand what they see. Or they are cooler <laughs> than me and they are not afraid of dinosaurs. As I was as a child. But it's funny to see um, small little children playing and she's like 
Let's put it in Jurassic Park. They don't care. Okay, whatever. If you say so, that's fine by me. Okay, and we will put, um, what was the last color? Oh, black grape, maybe? Yes. Where is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, black grape in the bottom. Just very lightly. That's the way I would do the button part. You just need to place special attention to the transitions. You may need to think it through before starting your background. So what colors? Or transitions you would like to see on your picture and plan it in advance or write it down on a paper as I did so I can always look at it and it can help me with my transitions <coughs> let's see It's okay. It may not be perfect here, mm. but that's the way it turned out. Mm. We give some lavender here again to make a shadow. And a little bit of raspberry, only a little. And it will mix. If you are shading it really lightly. Do you like these movies? What are your favorite movies to watch? Please share away. Oh, and sorry, Bridget Jones, of course. <laughs> I'm not really fond of the last part, the third. Um, the Bridget Jones baby, however, I love Colin Firth. I mean, um, not really love love, but just so handsome. Oh my goodness. <sighs> I grew up watching the Bridget Jones movies a hundred million times at least. When we visited London with my mom last year, Okay, so we will go on with the background on the moment. Moment, sorry. I took a photo of the picture. Mm, okay. Um, I always take a photo of my coloring when I'm not sure if the shading is okay or if I should work on it further. I will, sorry, make it this way. 
Mm. I may go back to this part. I'm not sure yet. It isn't finished for me at least. It doesn't look finished. Lavender again. Pink rose. I will mute this so it isn't so bright here and it blends into the other colors. So last, um, not this winter, but before that, um, we went to London with my mom and oh my good mother yes my good mother that's what it's called in english and it was a birthday present for my mom to go and visit london and i really enjoyed it such a beautiful and huge city oh i can't wait to go back we were there only for four days which is which was extremely short and we didn't get to see the Harry Potter Museum. I'm still heartbroken, um, but I will go back there for sure. I know I should be ashamed of myself not visiting the Harry Potter Museum. I have to make a transition here. I'm not, I don't like it yet. So deep rose. But we went to, um, to the Madame Tussauds and um, I saw Colin first, first and I was, I nearly got a heart attack <laughs> when I saw him, his, uh, you know, the wax figure, of course, not him really, but the wax imitation from him and I stood in front of him and he was so tall and I really I I melted away. I melted right away. It was really funny. I was like oh, you have to take a picture with me. You mom you have to take a picture of me with him. And I was standing there for five minutes and just looking at him. <sighs> <laughs> Now you know I'm crazy, if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. Just babbling away, silly nonsense. Cool. So let's start this part. Okay. I will compare it again. Hmm. Well, I use too much reds here. However, I like the way this came out. So, I will try to make the top of it use more um, purples and um, yes, that's what I will do. And in the end, I will meet the two, the sky and the ground colors and maybe mix them together. We will see what comes out in the end. Okay. So back to business. I don't know why I moved it my why I moved my camera. Sorry. So back. A 
again right away. Hmm. Okay, let's see what do what will we use here. Hmm. I will use the free uh, ink pens for sure. The Tissol one, the um, Dusky Purple, and the Marv one. Okay. And I will also use um, Parma Violet from Prisma Colors and um, maybe some Lilac from Prisma as well. Uh, Parma Violet, Lilac, Violet. This is Violet. And um, dioxazine purple hue. I love this color. I'm all about purples right now. I don't know why, but I'm really obsessed with purple, with the purple color, as you may have noticed. Hmm, what else? I may have to use black at the end or not. This dioxazine purple too is quite um, dark. Okay. Oh, it's moving. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Okay. Oh. I love my tripod. So cool. So let's start. I will check my colors again. Dusky purple. Oh, so black. Tissol, no, mauve. Mm -hmm. Okay, Tissol. Mm -hmm. I might not use Tissol as it's too pink or, um, yes. Red, red purplish, and I want the sky to be more purple and lavender than I don't know. Um, raspberry or some kind of red. Okay, so Parma Violet. Yes, we will definitely use this one. And also lilac. Lilac, yes, lilac. Hmm, let's see. Nope, lilac is not our color. Great lavender. Great lavender. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, so violet. Hmm. I will put it near this one. I have to try them so I can. I didn't write down the colors I used in the Hannah Carlson one, which is a shame, 
but that's the way it is oh yes we will definitely go with violet okay so we have violet we have parma violet for sure Maybe we have to go back to lilac. Let's try it. No, no, definitely a no. Oh, that's lavender, not lilac. <laughs> ah, sorry. So lilac, here it is. Parma violet, lilac. And violet. Mm -hmm. Yes. I find the grade lavender to gray for our purposes. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will see. Lilac goes. Okay. Dusky purple. Dusky purple. Here I come. Okay, I will put a... Oh no, not this one. But another paper. So I want my up. paper behind it mm -hmm. I was hoping I would be quicker, but no, not really, no, that's fine. from heavy pressure to a lighter one. It's really important to learn how to control your pressure and um, how to layer well and blend and uh, really important part when you layer and blend your colors, mix your colors together is at least the way I do it is to go always from light to dark. <laughs> I'm not doing that, but I mean the pressure when you are building up your colors. So you have the possibility to change or to make alterations if you don't like the way the colors you use turned out. Once you use too heavy pressure and put all 
the color down the paper can take. There is no way back. Okay, next one is not, and I will finish this video shortly. FYI. Hmm. I may also activate the background with water again, this part, so it will become more purplish and not red, which would be, um, which would go great with the bottom, I think. Hmm, it's risky. I'm still thinking about it. We will see how the colors come out after putting down my first extra layer. Hmm. Just layer lightly, it will change after a time. What does it, how does it look like? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Can you see how the purple is shining through? That's really cool. I like that. And the red wheel or the pink or dark pink will shine through or reddish purple will shine through or pencil layer which is good for us as it will look interesting right and that is what we are going for today to make an interesting sky background even it may even if it may not come out as my first one <laughs> so I will stop the video here as I'm really hungry okay, I will turn it Thank you for joining me today. I hope you had a nice time and enjoyed my video. I will go a little up so you can have a better look how it came out. Yes. Definitely needs more blue and purple. Okay, so I will go on with this video and with this 
tutorial in the next part, in the third part of my purple sky background tutorial. So thank you very much for being here. If you enjoyed it, please give the video a thumbs up. Sharing is caring. So thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!